What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at $9,149. We're down 0.1%. What I want to do is look at Bitcoin on the one week chart. I want to take a step back. Tomorrow is going to be the weekly candle close. So I just want to show you some of the things that I was looking at here. I had six things that I want to share with you today. And what we're going to look at is to see if tomorrow Bitcoin can close a bullish Harami candlestick pattern off this 50 week moving average. And what I have in front of me is my Japanese candlestick charting book. And I wanted to read to you what a Harami pattern was in terms of candlestick charting. And I wanted to zoom into this right here because this could be an area that we start to have that reversal. This could be our higher low. And then we would try to make that next move up. And what we would need to do is break out through this red downtrend line. If you take a look at this here, we step back. It's like this. If we can break up through this red trend line and it comes on big volume in the weeks to come, I would look for us to get over 10,500. It's going to be the area. Then it would be around 11,800. Then we could really run fast and hard up to around that $20,000 because whenever you break out of a long-term downtrend, and you can see here, guys, this has been since 2018 for real. At the beginning of 2018, we've still, in the macro sense, have been putting in lower highs. So here's our top right up here at $20,000. And then our next lower high was around that $14,000 that we wicked up to. And then we set another one here around that $10,500, $10,600, depending on if you're going off the wicks or the real bodies. So we have not broken that sequence and come up here and set one of those higher highs, which we need to do in the macro sense. But in the macro sense, we have been setting those higher lows. So we're almost getting into one of those symmetrical triangles. And the volume, a lot of times, will start to drop. And then you'll have one of those breaks either to the upside or the downside. But I like the fact that we have found support off that 50 week moving average. I think that is significant. And if we can get one of these bullish Haramis off there with continuation, and I want you to realize a, a bullish Harami pattern is not as powerful as a bullish engulfing pattern or a long uh, hammer candle, something along those lines, or even a bullish piercing pattern. So this is one you definitely want confirmation. So the following week, we would want another bullish candle close up above where we end up closing this week. So that's important. But in terms of my Japanese candlestick charting book here, I'm going to read to you what a Harami is in case you guys don't know out there. So it can be a reversal pattern, but it's a little bit weaker than some of the stronger ones. And if you get something from these video guys, you learn something, let me know down low. Let me know where you've been in your position. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So what it says is Harami, a two candlestick pattern in which a small real body holds within the prior sessions, unusually large real body. The Harami implies the, that immediately preceding trend is concluded and that the bulls and bears are now in a state of truce. The color of the second real body can be white or black. Most often the second real body is the opposite color of the first real body. And what they're talking about here, and in Japanese, Harami means pregnant woman. So what you see here is a long real body. And you can see where we found that support off the 50. We did not close below that 50 week moving average. And now what they're talking about, that is the mother body, that long candle here. And now this is the child inside the mother here. And that's what's trying to have happen is this change this direction the supply and demand change so if we could close right in here and a harami typically you'll close less than halfway up this next real body so that's something we're going to look for the more penetration we have up into this previous week's body the more powerful it's going to be so that's a good sign for us here so if we could get a close where we're at now i would really like that and that would also be up above close to around that $9,000 if we could find support off that. But this would be a nice little bullish pattern if we could continue to get confirmation. That's what we're going to need, and we're going to need volume as well. So we can come up and start tackling this area of that $10,000. Guys, we desperately need, need to get up above $10,000. I've talked about that many times. I believe it can act as very strong overhead resistance when you drop back through it. We need it to become strong support for us. We need to break through $10,000, find support off it, and never look back again, in my opinion, for Bitcoin, especially going into the halving and everything that we're dealing with for Bitcoin and all the adoption and everything that's taking place. I really believe we need to find strong support off 10000 and never look back again. And that's what we need to do. We really need to break out of this red downtrend line. You can see each time we get up here, these these tight tight areas up here, a lot of wicks. There's a lot of profit taking just right here. 
there's doji candles, a lot of wicks, a lot of profit taking right in here. So now we're having this squeezing effect between the lower highs and the higher lows. And we're just going to have to see which way we end up breaking. I think that's really important to watch. And when we do break, we need it to come on heavier volume. That's going to be a really big deal for us. And then in terms of looking at the Fibonacci, I just want to go from this area here when we really started this nice uptrend. So this next move that we had. So if we take our Fibonacci and we go from our low, and that was around $3,100, we ended up dropping all the way up to our high. We came down and we found support off that 0.618. That's a really common area for Bitcoin. It, we retrace really hard in this space. We pump really hard and we retrace really hard. And that's something you definitely want to watch that 0.5 and that 0.618. So I do that to show you each time now look where we're finding support this time it was the 0.618 now if we go back out again and we turn this off I want to look at this previous move that we've had now and we're gonna go from our swing low again right off this hammer candle up to our swing high and right here we are having this bullish Harami pattern off the 50 week at that 0.5 so these retracements are really big, guys, and this is where we're trying to find that higher low. We want this to be confirmed this week, this Harami pattern that you see right here, and then we want that good, strong confirmation so we can get pushed to the upside. And if we get a trend line break on heavy volume going into the halving, it could be something extremely special for us okay and then to the downside though I would continue to look at that 50 week moving average and that's gonna be at 8583 we don't want candle closes below that you can see this entire bull market when we're in it we are up above that 50 the entire time so we want to stay up above this so we can start making these trend line breaks and really start moving to the upside here now in terms of indicators I want to go to our stock first stock we did have our bearish cross right up here and that was correlating with this doji candle if you take a look here so a lot of times those can be indicators for you of when to sell out and sometimes you can save yourself 20 30 percent because these retracements can be that deep going to the 0 0.5 to 0 0.618 so you can see we had that bearish cross right up here with our doji or our spinning top and now what we're going to have to do is start trying to make a nice strong move back to the upside but we're not in that overbought territory too much anymore we're at 61 and 75 so anything can happen we can get a real nice strong push back up to the upside again there then I wanted to show you our relative strength index this is looking even a little better. So this is at 53 right now, and we have been making those higher lows. So that's good. And we're just a little bit more neutral to strong in that area. So we have plenty of room to continue to move to the upside to start challenging these $10,000 level, levels if the bulls step in. So that's something I'm going to watch as well. And then I want to show you guys the MACD. So I just want to go through a few indicators here. So in terms of the MACD, the history, I'm starting to tick to the negative a little bit there. We still are up above. We had our bullish cross. We have not crossed back down to the downside. So we just really have to watch that a little bit. Not too much being told there. And then I want to show you our channels. And with our channels, we're sitting right up above this middle band. So that's a good thing right there. If we could start having candle closes up above that, I would really like it. So we're not in overbought territory, anything like that, guys. We have room to really come up here and start challenging these higher levels if these bulls step in, which I like. And then also tomorrow, if we could close, we'd be up above our 50. We would close up above our 20 week, and we'd also close up above our 40 week. So that's a good thing. We'd be up above all the moving averages that I'm looking at here, and then we'd just have to tackle these areas. And this is what I'd do with them here, guys. I'd put it at about 10,200, 10,165 there is going to be an area of overhead resistance in the next couple weeks here. And then I would look up to around that 11,600 off the real bodies. Those are going to be the areas that I'm looking at right now. So this is what I want to bring to you guys. Let me know what you're doing down low. I just want to see these areas defended. I want to see us close tomorrow in one of these Harami patterns. I think that could be extremely beneficial for us because that could show that that's where the bulls are stepping in. And then we really could try to make this next strong move to the upside. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for, guys. I want to see if that happens. I got my alarms, my first alarm at the bottom to the downside is going to be at 8,000. 472 and then to the upside because I want to see a close up above that 40 week we'll put one in at 9451 
And that's what I love about TradingView, just to tell you guys who are still here with me. TradingView, you can put all these alerts in. So say like I love to lift weights and exercise. So say I'm down in my gym and I'm exercising and I get one of these alerts, then I can run up to my office. I can plan my move, which I already had written down and planned. Okay, my downside target's hit. This is what I'm going to do. My upside target is hit. This is what I'm going to do. And then I continue to move on from there. And I think that's a really beneficial thing. So you're not tied to your computer all the time. I think the alarms and alerts can really help you. So that's something that I would, did want to put out there for you guys. If you've never used TradingView or whatever, it's something that will really help you. So let me know down low what you're doing. Do you think this could be one of those bullish Harami patterns? Get one of those, you know, higher lows, find a little support off that 50 and then continue to make some strong moves to the upside? Or do you think we're going to start dropping lower and start challenging some of those levels around $6,800? Let me know down low, guys. Appreciate y'all being here with me today. Have a wonderful Saturday. God bless you all.